We all enjoy some alone time now and then. Some of us really enjoy some alone time. Physically. Of course, that don't mean that isolation- That was a suggestive reference. Yes, we know. Did you like it? I don't get it. Of course, that don't mean isolation ain't a challenge, even for the most misanthropic among us. But it doesn't have to be so bad. There are lots of ways to have fun by yourself. In addition to the obvious. We're here with our top 10 tips for keeping your beak up in isolation. Number 10. Sleep. Sleep is important for health and well-being. Get plenty of sleep. You ain't missing nothing right now. But don't sleep all day. You gotta maintain a routine of getting up and, you know, feeling alive somehow. But don't put pressure on yourself. Relax. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you getting too much sleep? Get the proper amount of sleep. What the f*** is the proper amount of sleep? Relax! Oh god! Number 9. Stand in your yard. If you have one. Fresh air is a balm for weary lungs. Make a haven out of your porch. Your patio. Your portico. Veranda. Lanai. Stoop. Number eight. Scrapbook. You probably got some junk laying around that reminds you of other junk, right? Glue that shit down and you got yourself a project. Number seven. Build a puppet. Take any old odds and ends you got about your place and fashion them into a little friend. Who needs to be lonely when you can talk to an old sock with two buttons hot glued onto it that, uh... Look at you. Right in your eyes and... Into your soul. I had a puppet friend once. Yeah, how'd that go? Number six, change your hair. You know, your skull plumage. Ain't nothing make a soul feel fresh like a change of quaff. You might have to improvise on yourself with whatever scissors and shavers you got handy, but don't worry, ain't no one gonna judge you for a failed experiment. And if they do, fuck them. Fuck them. Hey, hey. Look at me. Hey. Fuck him. Number five. Do a puzzle. Assembling the pieces of a shattered illusion might give you the feeling of control over your life. You know, for a while. Until you find out you're missing a piece and you realize the world will never totally make sense no matter how hard you try. But then you make peace with that missing piece, and you attain a whole new level of zen. What's the missing piece in our lives, Jeff? Well, if we knew that, it wouldn't be missing now, would it? Hmm. Number four. Watch a spider. If you've got a spider crawling around near you, just sit and watch it. Spiders are simple creatures what don't know nothing about nothing. Watch them go about their business and imagine what it must be like to be so totally oblivious to the world. Yeah. Spiders are dumb. Number three, start a cult. You might be the only member, but you will have unwavering loyalty. Number two, keep a journal. A lot of thoughts might come flowing while you're in isolation, and it's good to get them out. Even if they're dull, pointless bullshit. You never know, man. Leaving little notes to your future self is a reminder that someday, things will return to normal, and you'll be looking back on stranger times. Yeah. Normal. Well, some semblance of normal. Yeah. Number one. Watch weird cartoons on the internet. 
There's all kinds of creative shit out on that there internet. Maybe you might enjoy, I don't know, some cartoon thing about, let's say, owls? Owls in a spooky forest? And it's a little funny and a little scary and there's mystery and romance? And the owls are made out of paper and the forest is made out of sticks and someone's making it in their house just to put out there on the internet for anyone who might enjoy seeing it. And they want everyone watching to just be okay and have a nice time. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for all the jokes about jerking off. No, you're not. Eh, 